Okay, first and foremost, we're gonna go into indicators. So right now we're on UJ, five minute chart at tradingview.com. So go into the chart and type in USDJPY, five minute chart. Okay, search USDJPY. And you're gonna type in Bollinger Bands. I'm not really going to wait for you to do it because it's gonna take forever. Yep. Uh, just try to follow along. What's more important is that you follow along my uh, my chart so I can explain how everything is done. Yep. Okay. So the Bollinger Bands indicator is primarily used for volatility uh, analysis. What that means is you use Bollinger Bands to determine whether the market is volatile or not volatile and how volatile. Do you understand that? Okay, so we currently have the Bollinger Bands on the five minute chart of UJ. Obviously the market's closed right now, so we can't see any uh, price action um, live, but we can see previous uh, prices and the previous volatility that have already occurred, okay? So two things that you need to remember, I want you to write this down, please. Yep, is contraction and expansion. Got it. Okay, well, now we're gonna cover what those two mean. Okay, you're probably wondering what the hell is contraction, what the hell is expansion? Yeah, contraction is basically consistency, okay? So consistency, also known as consolidation. So when the market's uh, moving very consistent, it's moving uh, to its previous high and the previous low constantly over and over and over and over, that's consistency, meaning the market's stable, okay? So contraction. That's not, so it means it's not fluctuating, it's like stably going up and down. In the same consistency, way. market is stable. That's all it is. There's no rocket science here. Contraction equals consistency. Are you crystal clear on that? Yep. Uh, all right, good. Now, if contraction is consistency, what do you think expansion means? Um, the opposite? Correct. So it means it's falling like the other part where it went all the way down? Furries, please just let me uh, let me conduct a lesson because you know your guess is just not going to be correct, and I don't want to uh, delay or impede our lesson. Yep. Volatile. Unless I specify, you can ask questions. I think um, you know I want to continue the lesson, so you absorb the lesson first, how it's done, and then trust me, I will give you the opportunity to ask questions. All right, so here we have volatile, high risk, expansion. Where do you think expansion is occurring? Um, from where your point is, all the way going down. So volatility, how do we find where the expansion is? Literally, as it sounds, expansion. When you see expansion, like the upper band, the lower band is expanding. We call that an expansion. Okay, so this movement right here, yeah. this right here is all expansion, volatility. There's high volatility, meaning it's high risk. In Bollinger Bands, we use these risk, these high risk times to trade. Why do we use these to trade? Because this is when you can make the most amount of profit. People think that when you're trading with consistent market, it's easier because you can predict it. But that's not necessarily a good thing because when it's too consistent, there's little to no price movements. You can barely make any profits off of 140 pips fluctuation. Okay. So yeah. you want to look for areas like this, 
where we can use to trade. Okay, this entire green area, I'm going to name it trading zone because we can trade. Are you following along? Yeah. Now, how do we use this technique to trade? Simple. You're going to look for oversold and overbought areas. And then your second question would be, how do I find out where it's oversold, overbought? We're going to get to that. So the trading zone is when, when when it dropped, I start I just put on sell, right? And then I let it drop and then I make my money. Faris, I'm just about to explain to you how to use it. Oh, okay. Your guess is incorrect. If you do oh. if like you wouldn't how would you know if this is gonna go down? How would you know? What if this flipped on you? You only know this went down because you're looking at prive, uh previous chart. What you're saying like literally makes no sense. And I'm not even trying to be rude, but I'm trying to give you the reality of what happens in the live trading world. You know, just because you see strong bearish movement and you sell doesn't mean you're going to be in profits. It can very well that split second head towards the opposite direction and you will lose lot, lots of profits. Equity, I mean. You might even get a margin call. So please do not get complacent. When trading during volatile times, volatility equals to high risk, okay? It's not always going to go towards your um, desired um, price. Anyways, how do you actually trade using the bond or bands? Oversold, overbought. How do we find out when it's oversold and overbought? You look for candlesticks that are sticking outside the Bollinger Bands. Okay, so the Bollinger Bands consist of the upper bands and the lower bands and the moving average line in the middle. Okay, what you need to look for is areas where the price is coming outside the Bollinger Bands and it's starting to pull back. So here you can evidently see that price has ex um, came outside of your um, upper Bollinger Bands. In that case, you can do a sell here after looking for the pullback price action. So right here, you see the candlestick being pulled back towards the middle. You can use this to sell and take profit near the middle, okay? Now let's look for another area where you could have uh, bought right here. Incredibly oversold, incredibly oversold. Yeah. Right here. You see that candlestick coming yeah. out and it's a wick too. When you see a wick drop out like that, it means the price has hit this new low, but it cannot sustain, it cannot hold that new low. So it immediately shot right up. Why? Because it was oversold. So you're going to buy during oversold area once you see the pullback happening, okay? Wow. You can see the pullback occurring. Therefore, you're going you're gonna to do a buy. And boom, let's see how much profit you would have made from here. 
to here. It's about 200 uh, pips. So you, you're trading like one lot. Could easily make uh, 200 bucks right there, US. And you would have done a sell right there. And take profit. You would have made about 100 bucks. Nothing too crazy. Any questions on how to use it? Nope, I got it. Like, um, Perfect, right? But like um, on trading view, like what do I search? Like Bollinger Band? Yes, all you have to do is click Bollinger Bands. Okay, where is it? I'm on USDJPY right now. Um, 